got this really cool old brass articulating lamp out of a junk pile today. It's got the old uh, old style cord that's wrapped in material and uh, I'm not sure if it works yet but we're going to start digging into it and shining it up and we'll make it into something. We've got everything shined up after a couple hours of uh, polishing. It's not completely shiny but kept running through my head the military saying or army saying if it moves salute it and if it doesn't shine it up. Well I spent a good bit of time uh, wiring this, rewiring it and uh, cutting out a bunch of bad sections of it because I really love this old rope wiring uh, and you know I love old stuff but and you know everybody says nothing's built like it was in the olden days well that that's I think that's true on a lot of things except for wiring so this is pretty uh, pretty much crumbling in my hands so I'm gonna try to use it in the project somehow because I think it's really neat but I'm gonna have to rewire this with with modern day wire sorry all you old timers out there this is one thing that isn't standing the test of time. As I mentioned in earlier shows, wine barrel staves are really cool to use, but you really like to see that that hole, uh, which is indicative of a wine barrel stave. And in any given wine barrel, there's only one stave with a hole in it. So uh, as I like to do, I'll take the bigger staves, and there's usually about six of them, and I'll bore a, a two and a quarter inch hole saw through them to make the stave and then I'll use a blowtorch to blacken it uh, so it looks aged and it just uh, it gives you a little more character to the project. Well that's it for this project we were able to utilize the old uh, wiring as just a mock and stapled on the outside I put a little bed post finish uh, finale to hold the wire and uh, and then put new wiring in somewhat hidden inside the uh, inside the articulation of the old of that old lamp so uh, pretty happy with it and we found an old antique light bulb that's uh, it's pretty neat to put in there and it makes a good reading lamp here on the uh, in the reading area on the couch so uh, thanks for watching